afternoon or night um, wherever you are viewers and today this documentary is about it's not really documentary but I will say it is it's basically about mid autumn festival or in other words called mooncake festival basically what it is is that um, it's basically a time where families come together I mean like the members of family come together to like have a nice dinner or something a meetup or something like Chinese New Year but not really and it's also a Thanksgiving for like the good harvesting of crops and other things yeah it's also for praying so basically you can pray for good health good wealth and other stuff whatever there are three stories surrounding um, mid autumn festival or mooncake festival basically uh, the first one is um, Hoi and Chang'e okay so basically um, last time there was 10 sons Hoi was an excellent archer. He shot down nine of the sons. He left one to give light so the crops can grow. So um, so in return, the Western Queen Mother, or like some sort of angel or something, gave him a bottle of elixir that could basically make him immortal and go to the heavens. Um, but Hoi wanted to stay with his wife, Chang'e. Um, so Hoi asked Chang'e to um, keep it in like a closet or some place. So um. Yeah, one day Hoi was like teaching uh, some people who thought his archery skills were excellent, so they wanted to learn from him. So while he was doing that, one of his uh, students, Peng Meng, pretended to be sick or something and then he stayed behind. Basically, what he's actually doing is that he's going to um, Hoi's house to steal the elixir. Chang'e was there. So instead of giving the elixir to uh, Peng Meng to become immortal and go to the heavens, she drank it herself. She started floating up in the way into the heavens but she wanted to be as near Hoi as possible so she um, stopped floating up to the heavens and instead landed on the nearest place to earth the moon so it's pretty cool which is um yeah so Hoi was a bit sad when he found out about this so he soon worshipped Chang'e now known as the moon goddess of immortality which is pretty cool so Hoi like presented with like her favorite cakes and fruits on the table to like worship her and it was soon worshipped by many other people and that's like the first story the second story is about Wu Kang basically um yeah the story is called yeah Wu Kang and basically he's a lumberjack he cuts trees for a living but he's not happy in his life he wants to become immortal and live forever and he was usually like you know a lot of times I was thinking about other stuff but he was uh, punished by the Emperor of Heaven and yeah the Emperor of Heaven gave him a deal and yeah basically what the deal was that he he sent Wukang to the moon and there was a cherry bay tree a cherry bay tree on the moon so Wukang his uh, task was to cut down the berry the the cherry bay tree if he was successful in doing that he would be immortal but of course he just did it because he wanted to be immortal. So he took his axe, he swung at it. But then when he took out the axe, he realized that the tree had no scratch or anything on it. And basically what the Emperor of Heaven did was that he like made it a magical cherry bay tree. As it was uh, like cut, it would heal itself automatically, which was pretty cool. So he's so basically he's the man in the moon, which is why the man in the moon right now, as you can see here, that one picture. And he's basically Wukong. He's still chopping the, the tree to this day. So I guess he's sort of immortal. <laughs> the story. It's about the fox, rabbit, and monkey. So, have you, so I bet you have seen the rabbit on the moon, as you can see right here. Okay, so basically there's a story surrounding it. Um, there were three immortals. They came down to earth pretending to be beggars. And yeah, they asked the fox, rabbit, and monkey, who were three close friends, for some food. So the fox and the monkey, who were very more experienced, gave them some delicious food like meat and fish. But the, however, the rabbit, who was not that experienced, he couldn't give anything. So he so he threw himself at like a fire so he could be cooked. The three immortals were astounded by this doing, and so they sent the the rabbit to the moon to help Chang'e in her potion making, I guess, sort of. So yeah, that's the story of the rabbit in the moon. Hello. Wait. Okay, so the best way to um, for some information about uh, this amazing uh, festival is to ask the old folks. So here's my grandma. She might have a few words to say about it. 
a mid autumn festival. Mid autumn festival actually is uh, one of the uh, very uh, popular festivals uh, observed by all the Chinese. So actually, he's uh, during that day there is the lunar calendar is one fifteen of the August. So the moon is the brightest and for the evening. Oh. And the families will usually take the opportunity to so called celebrate together in the evening while looking at the beautiful moon, bright, and then it represents something like reunion. Round means fullness, oh. fullness of the family. So it actually uh, means happiness, and all the family members can celebrate together. So usually they don't just. Uh, uh, see the moon things like that ancient day ancient time actually people do pray they have chopsticks and then they serve the offer the ground nut the, the moon cake you know and the pamelo and the so-called the certain type of fruits they can call it's like a lotus horn and that oh, i didn't and know it's that symbolic and without the small yam this how when they serve and then they have a, a party Mm. Uh, we call it a moonlight party, very popular during the, our school days. Uh, we take the opportunity to celebrate all these things and meeting all the friends and together and they can sing song and then most importantly also they bring along their lanterns. Oh. The lanterns also represent brightness, lighting and showing the way and for younger children they usually try to compare whose lantern is better. <laughs> Those days we use candle. Candle is just very uh, easily got burned. So a lot of times the younger children cannot hold their lanterns properly. Usually burnt all their lanterns. Oh, yeah. So end up they crying as well. Mm -hmm. I experienced myself but I don't cry. And also we are creative. We usually also do our own lantern. Oh. So we use the and we stay and we tie together, then we get the paper to wrap up. So this is part of fun while preparing uh, for the festivals, right? Other than just the new reunion dinner during the Chinese New Year's Eve, I this is one of the time they will come back. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you, Mama. They are most welcome. I hope you enjoy the Mid Autumn Festivals and learn the meaning of what is the Mid Autumn Festival. Okay. I didn't see that. Uh, well, thank you very much, Mama. Uh, that was a very nice speech about uh, Made Out the Festival. Uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. If you're wondering what this is, it's basically a double headed scythe that I made uh, a f one year ago. I wanted to feature this on my channel for, you know, yeah, the logo. But I probably never got around to fishing it. As you can see, this has not been painted. The handle is, however, made out of paper mache. Yeah, but this video is not about this. Let's just. Yeah. Basically what this segment of the video is called, it's called the Lantern Showcase. Let's look at my lanterns. You heard my grandmother telling us about lanterns as you know. So basically, uh, last time they compete about who are the best lanterns. This is my Angry Birds Lantern. Uh, Angry Birds was one of my most favorite games of all time. I would spend non-stop like, playing Angry Birds. But yeah, I don't really play it now. So this is my Angry Bird Lantern. It's all nice reddish and angry. So that's pretty cool. The next one we have is um, this dinosaur lantern. I've, I, have, I have no memory of this, but my mother tells me this is one of the oldest lanterns in my set. As you can see, it's blue. It looks like Barney, but not really Barney. It's yellow too. So this is something about these lanterns that they made out from like, I don't know, like sugar paper or something. It's like clearish and it's colored. And they also put some sort of decorations, like for instance, they put glitter and paper with glitter on it. Pretty cool. And yeah, the next one we have is the Minions. Uh, Illuminations Money Makers, as you can see here. Um, looks adorable as always. As you can see, it has two colors, blue mainly and mainly yellow. So basically, this is the Minions. I love Minions last time. And yeah, this is in my showcase. My favorite one. Here is the Dragon Lantern. It's very fantastic, isn't it? It's the biggest one in my set. Um, it has a detachable head. Okay, take a look closer at it. 
It's a very nice, has ribbons for like a chin. This is like some sort of whiskers thingy. As you can see here. It's pretty cute. It's really awesome. It's pretty big. Let's put this back on, shall we? Hold on a minute. Okay, I got this back on. As you can see, the body is uh, like scales. It's pretty cool. A really nice green tail. And also, it's like some sort of like, yeah, basically normal paper. Um, I'm not sure what paper is this, but it's like that kind where it's the rough paper, but it's really soft. So yeah, a very well decorated uh, lantern. I have a few other lanterns, like a rooster one. I, I chose the rooster one for the reason why I'm born on the year the rooster, but can't seem to find that now, so yeah. And yeah, there's, some, there's one lantern. Uh, yeah, so basically there's another type of lantern as you can see my grandma was talking about a paper one Basically these paper ones are foldable you can like compress them into the size of this like springy shape And then you can stuff like little candles in them Like just slide them down in and light them up and then you can like you know carry them. It's very nice Um yeah, but they're disposable and yeah as you know it burns Sad I cried last time too <laughs> Um, not only that, but you can actually take sticks to hang them on branches and, and columns and stuff. Yeah, so the garden is well lit. Very nice. Another thing that we play is um, sparklers. You probably know about these sparklers. Um, I'm not going to light one here, obviously, for uh, you know, reasons. So basically, the sparklers are like, you can just light them up. And then they'll start fizzing out like white sparks of all colors. Just like, until it gets low and then you get scared and you just drop it. So that's pretty cool, the lantern showcase. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I enjoy it. Hello guys, this segment of the video is called the Mooncake Showcase. Um, the first box we'll be looking at is um, this one. As you may know that uh, the other festivals also known as Mooncake Festival. So they got Mooncake. So, ooh, there's a tag on this one. Um, the Moon of Fullness. The fullest moon mirrors the happiest reunions. It's not bad. Okay, so let's open this up. As you can see, it's a pretty nice design. And inside we have four mooncakes. As you can see here. Let me just take them out for your viewing. Okay, so this one is pretty cool. This doesn't seem to have a name. It's brownish, as you can see. Alright. And over here we got like some sort of quote. How many apples grow on a tree? What did the teddy bear say when it was offered dessert? Lantern riddles. It's not bad. I mean, oh, these are tea bags. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. So, um, what else we have? Okay, we got actual mooncake this time. Cha bamboo charcoal, rose tea, lotus paste. Hmm, it's blackish. As you can see, mooncake has a very nice color. Wait, let me show you. It's like very nice patterns. It's not bad. Over here, we got in the middle of the box. We got tea. Which is pretty cool. You can enjoy mooncake with tea, which is yeah. Families also do drink that during a mooncake festival, which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, that's basically this box. Wait, I've actually got two more. This one is called the purple potato. So it's I guess um, sweet potato basically. That's cool. The next one we have is the red bean. Um, Green tea mooncake, yeah, green tea mooncake. It's pretty cool. So yeah, that's this box. Let me just close it. Okay, that's done. Let's just put this here too. The next one we have is um, these ones. These ones that you can usually find in stores and marketplaces. It's pretty cool. They come in little baskets. It's pretty cute. I got five of these back here. As you can see, they come in colors. I've got yellow and red and green. There's also pink back here, as you can see. Cool, but I'm just gonna open one. As you can see, I've already opened this one. It's a very nice, okay. So, it's not really mooncake, but as you can see here, it's like a very, it's like a pig. As you can see, it's a snout, the two eyes here. And yeah, that's basically a pig. It's ain't cute. You just stuff in the bag and eat him. So yeah, this is one. And here we got a very big box. I guess I'm gonna have to show. There are three boxes in here. Each of them have um, two mooncakes. As you can see here. Let's open this up. 
This one is called the Lotus Paste. So this Lotus Paste is pink. It's a very nice colorful one. And this one over here is called the Red Bean Paste. It's it's called Red Bean Paste, but it's white. Very nice patterns, as you can see here. It's like a nice circle. It's not really a circle, but it's pretty nice patterns, as you can see here. It's not bad, huh? Yeah, basically the way they make it is they put the paste into a mold, and yeah, then they cook it, and that's how the shape we get. It's pretty cool. The pink one I like a nice flower one. Alright, let's look at the next box. Next box we have. Hmm. Okay, we got this. Okay, the pink one, we have the lotus paste again. It's a very nice pattern. I forgot to show you just now, but I forgot. As you can see, it's like a leafy pattern. Not bad. Oh, this one's different. It's a green one. Lotus paste single yolk. So they use one yolk in the thing. Oh, it's a very nice crystally shapeish design. Shapeish. Okay. That's basically that. Just stuff this in. Okay, let's continue on with the tour of my moon cakes. The next one, the last box we have in this one is um, pretty cool. Okay. Ooh, we got two. Okay. This one is lotus paste, but it's orange this time. Or brownish. And it's a very nice flowerish pattern. Okay. There's also another one in here. This one is slightly different, but it's still the same. Basically, it's a lotus paste, but they use one yolk, single yolk, as you can see here. So also the same pattern, actually sort of, but it's still flowerish shape, but yeah. So yeah, that's this bag here. There are many types of moon cakes you can find. You can make your own at home, you can find the recipes on the internet, and then you can uh, make some with your family if you want to. It's not bad. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Okay. Thank you very much, Grand Kingdom Restaurant. My grandmother brought this back from Grand Kingdom Restaurant. Um, yeah, they gave it. Okay, so this one, this one is uh, pretty special. This one is from the Mandarin Oriental Kuala Lumpur. It's a very nice fan logo. You can see here, Mandarin Oriental Kuala Lumpur. Oh wow, this is heavy. Ooh, what a fancy case. It's pretty cool. Let's open this up. You can see it's a very different type of lock. Open it up. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Okay, there's some uh, paper here. So some like tracing paper. Ooh. Then I believe these ones are durian mooncake. They're all durian mooncake. As you know, um, actually, if you live in another country, you might not know about this, but Malaysia has a durian crisis. The king of fruits, the spiky one, as you can see here. Um, there's not many this year due to the fact that there's the weather. Yeah, this, this, let's just say that, the weather. So, um, yeah, it's very rare to find mooncake pastries and actual, I mean, it's very rare to find durian pastries and other stuff and actual durian because, yeah, you know, the durian crisis. <laughs> it's a funny name. But as you can see here, um, this is the Duran Moon Cake from Mandarin Oriental. We got four lined up in a row down here. As you can see, very nice indeed. Very nice box. It has a very nice. Okay, the Mandarin Oriental Moon Cake has their logo on it. As you can see, look, a fan. And there's also a very nice pattern surrounding it. You can see here, very nice. Mm. Can't wait to eat these for Moon Cake Festival. Pan. Okay. So that's basically all the mooncake that we currently own. Uh, they all disappear during mooncake festival, however, because you know we're gonna eat it, <laughs> and you will see that happening um, later. Not really later, but on that actual day. So yeah, that's my mooncakes. Actually, this was not, the basket ones are not really mooncakes, but I'll count them as cakes. So yeah, that's basically this segment done. Um, this documentary is shorter than my Chiang one, uh, for the fact that it does not have any clips of it because um, mid of the festival has actually arrived yet. So this video is just to tell you about it, so maybe you'll consider celebrating with it on um, that day with your family or something, if you're living somewhere else, I'm not sure if you can see the moon, but yeah, it's something important for us Chinese people, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, 
yeah, this would be a separate vlog. Uh, this one would be telling about, you know, Minato Festival. There's another video coming soon. Um, it's actually about the celebration we're gonna have. I think I'm pretty sure we're gonna invite all my cousins over. We're gonna have a lot of lanterns. We're gonna play with a few sparklers, maybe fireworks. Nah, not fireworks. It's just crazy. But either way, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. And goodbye. Blooper reel. Good um, morning after. <sighs> the moon, I mean the Western Queen Mother or some sort of angel basically, gave um, Hoi an elixir to become invincible. I mean not invincible, I mean he could be immortal. Good morning af- Good afternoon- Now the second story was about Wu Kang. Basically, Wu Kang was this um um like um as I said, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, this is a quite a decent video, I guess. I kind of enjoyed it. I hope you do. And see you next time. Bye.